Hey everyone, Josh here with another up close look at a Black Series figure. Today we're going to unbox the Han Solo Endor figure from the Black Series line. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. But real quick, let's just take a look at the box and the artwork for you guys and everything there is to see. And of course, we have the character description on the back, and I'll uh, read that for you guys real quick. Han Solo volunteered to lead the mission to destroy the new Death Star's shield generator. He and his strike team landed on the forest moon of Endor, where they encountered scout troopers and Ewoks. And of course, that's the them describing the events of Return of the Jedi, but let's just get this guy out of here and take a look at him. Of course, Han Solo is a fan favorite character. So everybody loves this guy, but let's get him out of here. Oh. So they, now they put these new clear shells over them, which I kind of actually like. But there you can see him and get his pistol. Well, oops, pop that out of there. And I just want to see if they have any of his. Sometimes they stick the cloth material through the back. And you can see they, they stick their hands through the clear plastic now. So just kind of be aware of that if you unbox your figures. Put the packaging out to the side. Whoops. And there is a this is a very good face sculpt. I think I think it looks good. Um of course you have the cloth trench coat or the camouflage trench coat. Um you can see it's got a little split in the back. Doesn't seem to be anything really fancy about it, but Let's go ahead and see if we can get it off of him, see what he looks like without it. But if you guys ever have to kind of take clothing on and off a figure, one of the best ways to do it is just put their arms kind of straight back and just pull down so you're not fighting with it too much. But yeah, the coat's uh, pretty simple. Just cloth, the trench coat. And then, of course, we have Captain Solo, or I believe General Solo himself here. And you can see he's got the blue vest, brown pants with the yellow stripe. And of course you have the famous gun belt. And yeah, just looking at the gun belt, I, I don't honestly know why you'd want to, but you, it doesn't appear that you can remove it. it the, the leg strap is actually molded onto his leg. And then it looks like they have it glued on there. And then the actual belt part is... Let's see here. Yeah, it's. It feels like they have it, might have it glued down in a couple spots, but it's actually separate from the figure. It's not actually molded to him. But. Um, and the vest has some flexibility to it. And actually, looks like you might could take the uh, vest off as well. Oh. Okay. Very cool. It is removable. So yeah, you can take <laughs> the vest off. And other than the gun belt, he kind of looks like he did when he uh, came out of the carbonite. Um, but yeah, you do have the vest. You can see they have little uh, pockets molded on there. Oops. Keep dropping this little sucker. Um... And then you have these little panels on the back, um, but they don't appear to do anything. They're just decorative for the figure, I suppose. Um, but yeah, there he is. And you can see how the leg kind of, I think that's why they might have put the gun belt as a exterior, like glued on piece. But you can see how the leg reacts to the gun belt. Um, I don't see anything really 
unique about his articulation anyway, but you have the standard black series articulation, which appears to work just fine. It's a little stiff, but yeah, you can hear it clicking. Um, elbow, wrist, and then one of the things I always like to make a note of is the position they put the uh, uh, come on the hand sculpts in so you can see on his right hand you got the trigger finger out and then you got kind of the generic uh, open fist kind of deal with him um I gotta say though I'm really impressed with the actual hand molds too they actually look really good um but let's take a real quick look at the blaster. And this looks really good too. You can actually see the uh I don't the lines on the the um wood what would be I guess the wood handle of the gun. Uh, that looks pretty cool. And there we go. And then if you look at the other side of it, you know, you got the silver tip and everything and the scope, so Looks good. Now let's see what old Captain Solo, how he holds this thing. and Very cool. Okay, so there he is holding it. And again, love how they put the trigger fingers in there. I think that looks really great. Um, it's one of my favorite features of these things because it just... It looks really good. It doesn't look like this does where a figure's just holding a weapon and he's actually got his fingers in the trigger. But yeah, you can put it in his other hand. It's not quite as a firm grip as, as you'd like. But on the other hand, it was staying in there real good. So, And then let's look real close at this holster. And you can see it does have a little strap and... Let's see if this buckles in it. It does. So there's a little like uh, pin at the end of the strap. And then of course the hole or the, there's a hole for it to go into. So let's see how the gun actually fits in there. And can we strap, reconnect the strap? All right, yeah, that looks really good. It's fitting in there. Looks like it's supposed to. Looking good. All right, now let's see if we can get his clothes back on here. So, and this, getting the vest off was a little bit trickier than the jacket, but it is removable. All right. And it still looks good after you take it off and put it back on. There's no like warping to it or anything like that. So, excellent. And let's finally get the jacket on here. All right. Looking good, General. All right. And of course, the gun needs to be in his hand. Let's be serious about that. Yeah, I like that a lot. That looks good. All right. And finally, I've got a lot of confidence that that'll be no problem for Captain Solo. But let's just make sure. Will he stand on his own? Is he an independent figure? All right, guys, there he is, General Han Solo in his indoor gear from the Black Series line. And I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And if you are, I appreciate it. And thanks for watching, everyone. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.